We have seen the general principle of the substitution rule. Let us look at one more example. Furthermore, we looked at indefinite integrals, so without integration boundaries, till now. What happens if you have definite integrals? That is no problem, as you will learn in this video. So first another example, tangent of x equals sine of x over cosine of x. What can we do? We can use the substitution u equals cosine of x. And why does this work nicely? Well, the u dx equals minus the sine of x, so minus the u d equals the sine x dx, which is in the numerator of our integral. So, what do we get? So the minus the u becomes the sine x dx, so the sine x dx is replaced by minus the u. The 1 over x becomes a a 1 over cosine x becomes a 1 over u, and we have to integrate minus 1 over u du. That is an antiderivative we do know, it's just the ln of u, absolute value. So we get minus the ln of u plus an integration constant. So our antiderivative equals minus the ln of the absolute value of cosine of x. Now let's check. We have to check either for cosine positive or cosine negative. Of course, we cannot go through cosine x equals 0 because then we would divide by 0 in the integral. So let's do the cosine of x positive. Then this capital F equals minus the ln of cosine of x plus a constant. We differentiate. We get minus 1 over cosine x times chain rule minus sine of x, which gives us indeed sine of x over cosine of x for our uh, small f, which is indeed the tangent of x. So, correct. What happens if we have definite integrals? So if we have boundaries, so say from 0 to pi over 3. Well, if you do substitution u equals cosine of x, we can also substitute, include the boundaries in the substitution. Because if x equals 0, uh, u equals the cosine of 0 equals 1. And if x equals pi over 3, then u equals the cosine of pi over 3 equals 1 half. So then the integration boundaries become from 1 to 1 half. And the, uh, the, the other part is the same as in the previous example 1. And then we compute again minus the ln of u, then between the boundaries minus ln of 1 half minus minus ln of 1, but the ln of 1 equals 0. So we're, there we have the minus ln of 1 half or the ln of 2 if you want. Of course, we can also use the antiderivative. So what can we do as well? Alternatively, the integral equals the antiderivative of pi over 3 minus the antiderivative in 0. We know the antiderivative. It's over here. Uh, so the, we have minus the ln of cosine pi over 3 minus ln of the cosine of 0. So it gives us minus ln of 1 half equals ln of 2, which is, of course, the same. So Definite integrals or indefinite integrals for the substitution rule does not really matter. Just uh, keep track of the fact that uh, you have those boundaries. So if you use substitution rule, then preferably I would say include those in the substitution and plug them in directly. 